hello and welcome to the channel. Welcome if you're new here. Welcome back if you've been here before. This is Ritzy, my adorable fluffy co-host, and my name is Lauren. Thank you for joining me today. Uh, this is going to be a fun one because we're talking about a brand that I just feel like comes out with some amazing products, and that is Lisa Eldridge. And today we're actually talking about the newest release from Lisa Eldridge, which is her skin tint. More specifically, the Seamless Skin Enhancing Tint. And I actually got this when it first launched. It's been a couple weeks, but I wasn't ready to put out a review. I really wanted to try it. Um, also, if you hear a screaming child in the background, it is not my child. It's someone's child. There's a park by my house, so it's um, quite high-pitched. What I want to do is I want to tell you a little bit about some of the claims they make with this skin tint. I'm going to show you a video of me applying it so you can kind of see what it looks like before and then after. And then I really want to talk about my final thoughts about this product and if I think it's worth it. But this is the product we're talking about. This is her skin tint. I have mine in the color 23. Now, this is kind of interesting because this bottle is very similar to the bottle that she has for her foundation. It doesn't sit up right. <laughs> it can only lay like this like a little pebble. It's so cute, so light, I love it. Now, a little bit of information about this skin tint is it is $49 and it currently comes in 18 shades. So a little bit of what they say you can get out of the skin tint. It's fresh, luminous, light coverage made out of 78% of skincare ingredients, seamlessly evens tone, lifts shadows, tones down redness and boosts luminosity, it's hydrating, it's crease proof. So they're making a lot of claims with a skin tint, which typically with a skin tint, you're not gonna see heavy, medium coverage, very light coverage. So that's what they're kind of saying. It's gonna even out your skin tone. Uh, it's gonna be hydrating and it's gonna be crease proof. Now, this is all great for me because I have super dry skin, super dry skin. It tends to like absorb just things into it. And I am looking for something more on the hydrating side while also evening out my skin tone. I do have redness in my skin, especially my T-zone area. So anything that kind of balances that out, is good by my book. What I wanna do is I'm going to get into the application of the skin tint. Um, I actually have had it on now for quite some time. The video you're about to see is when I'm applying it before work at about 8.30 and it's about 4.30 now. So. Quite a bit of time has passed with the product on my face. I did not touch it up. I did not add anything to it other than what you're gonna see in this video. So you're seeing kind of the end of the day look for me. And yeah, let's first get into that video though so you can see what it looks like before and after I apply it. And then I'm gonna talk about what I think about the skin tint, if it is the summer's best skin tint. They didn't say that, I'm saying that because it might be, I don't know, we really need to talk about it. It might be the summer's best skin tint. We will talk about if I think you need it, if you should buy it, if it's something that would fit in your routine. So let's get into the application and then we'll come back and I'll talk about if it really lived up to all of the things that it said it does. Thank you. 
this skin tint on pretty much all day. You can see that it is wearing down a little bit in my T-zone area, but actually not that bad. It's lasted quite a while and I actually, you know, went for a walk and got a coffee. It's actually pretty warm today, so got a little bit sweaty, you know, like went for a walk. And uh, let's talk about if I think it really lives up to everything that it says it does. Is it a good skincare as well as a good skin tint? Is it worth the $49? That's pretty expensive for a skin tint. And you know, I'm just gonna say straight off the bat, yes, 100%, I think this is worth the $49. Yes, I did already admit that I'm a huge fan of Lisa Eldridge and her products. I love her foundation, but this is just something special. It's a skin tint that really does what it says. I feel like 100% it evened out my skin tone. Again, no, we're not getting a lot of coverage. That's not what a skin tint is for. It did help lighten the redness in my skin, but as you could see in the application, I did decide to go over it in a couple spots with some concealer. That's typically what I do with any skin tint, especially under the eyes and on my nose and my chin. Those are the areas that just need a little bit of extra help. And then you saw with the application of the powder, it is a very dewy looking skin tint, so you can leave it like that. I like to kind of just lock things in a little bit better with a little bit of powder. I don't like things to be that shiny. I like it to be a little more matte. I'm in my matte phase right now though, I will say. I've been loving matte foundation, but I just think you can wear it either way, with or without powder. It wears the same throughout the day, at least in my experience. Now I have tried it with a couple different primers and I found that all primers work. As you can see in here, I used it with my Dior primer, which has been my favorite to use it with. Any hydrating primer I feel like works really well with it. I did use a gripping primer as well, the Freck Rich Bitch, ooh, Rich Bitch Primer, which is in my project pan. I didn't like it as much with that one. Um, I don't I think it works as well with a tackier primer like the Freck one, but I think it works really well with any moisturizing primer. <laughs> it says it's fresh, luminous, light coverage. Completely agree with all those things. Again, like I said before, it doesn't cover up the red. It's not supposed to, that's not what it's there for. It's your skin, but better, but barely there. You don't want it, you don't want to feel like you have anything on your face and you don't. It is such light coverage. Do not feel like anything is on my face. It feels really great, really great, especially now that it's warming up weather-wise. I just think this is gonna be great when it gets hot because it makes my skin look better without looking like I'm wearing anything. I love it. So again, like some of the claims that it has, seamlessly evens tone, lifts shadows, tone down redness, and boosts luminosity. I mean, I definitely would love to hear your opinions after you watch the application video. Do you think that it did all those things? Because I truly think it did. It adds a little bit of luminosity. Again, I covered it up a little bit with powder, but it doesn't cover your shadows. It doesn't cover your redness but it does even it out. It makes your skin look more even so that those imperfections are a little bit less noticeable. Now, if again, you're looking for something with heavier coverage, this is not a product for you. If you're looking for something light, easy to wear, uh, feels like there's nothing on your skin, then I think this may be the product for you. I just think it's gonna wear so beautifully in the summer, in the hotter weather. It just, it feels like there's nothing on my face. And the fact that it's lasted, all day, even I took my dogs out to the park. <laughs> so we were doing stuff today. I'm about to go for a run, but um, I think I'll, we'll probably remove everything on my face before I do that. It's Cause I typically don't like to run with makeup on, but I feel like even if I did run, it'd be okay. Cause it just doesn't feel like anything's on there. It's not heavy. It doesn't feel like it's clogging my pores. It just feels, effortless, natural. Like I, I really, really like this skin tint. Also since it's hydrating, which I fully believe it is, it does feel very hydrating. Nothing drying about it at all. I don't feel like it is in my creases. I don't feel like it is highlighting any of the imperfections. It's again, not completely hiding them, but it's not highlighting them. So when it says crease proof, I really do feel like it is crease proof. Um, and again, I've been using it for the past two weeks. And this has been the consistent experience that I've had with it. It's just a really well-wearing product that it just is easy, you know, it's easy. Sometimes we want our life to be a little bit easy. I feel like this is the product. That's also how I feel about her lipstick though. Uh, it's just this formula that's so easy to use. It's on my lips right now, uh, which by the way, it's the color I'm wearing is linked below if you're curious but I just feel like her products are easy to use. I also am wearing 
Lisa Eldridge eyeshadow. I went full Lisa Eldridge today. So there are some products that I don't have from her that she launched recently. She's got like an eyeliner. She's got a mascara now that I am dying to try, but I'm trying not to because I'm on a low buy right now. And I'd like to finish up some of the mascaras I have before I buy any more. But I just am so impressed by her products. They just genuinely feel like a lot of love was poured into them and a lot of thought so that, you know, it, they will work for a large amount of people. And that's one thing, again, I really appreciate about her line. Like she is a makeup artist. She clearly knows what she's doing. She's put a lot of effort into what she's come out with. This really does feel like a skincare makeup hybrid that works and does what she says it does. So, whew, I'm really impressed. From the first time I wore it, I was like, wow, this is great coverage. Now, <laughs> I <laughs> recently talked about, actually, no, you haven't seen it yet. It hasn't been posted yet, but you're gonna be seeing my foundation declutter coming up relatively soon. It's a lot, it's a lot, but I briefly talked about the Westman Atelier Skin Tint because that one is even more expensive than the Lisa Eldridge Skin Tint and it does nothing. <laughs> like I'm so confused by it. I just feel like it doesn't do anything. And I feel like with the Lisa Eldridge Skin Tint, there's actually a noticeable effect. It's a noticeable effect. Your skin looks great. So it's just, I don't know, it just goes to show there's a wide variety of skin tints out there, but this is the one that I see myself using a lot in the summer because it's just the perfect amount of coverage for what I want in the summer when it's hot. I don't want to feel like my face has stuff on it, you know, like, oh, this is going to be great. I love it. Well, I feel like I have been blabbing on and on about how much I love Lisa Eldridge because I do, because I do, but I really do believe that the Seamless Skin Enhancing Tint is a excellent product. And I'm glad that I gave it enough time to test it, test it with a variety of products to really know, does it work with a lot of things? Is it a bit more finicky? Is it working with stuff in my collection? And it checked all the boxes. It was not finicky. It was easy to apply. It worked with a lot of different products. Um, and it dried down beautifully too. Like it dries down quickly. I mean, again, normally I do put a little bit of powder in my T-zone just to lock everything in, but it just, it doesn't feel like wet on my face, which every once in a while you'll get a tint that says it's hydrating and it just feels kind of wet. Um, but no, I feel like this sinks into my skin beautifully. Again, looking natural. And again, I've had it on all day and I still think it looks great. So yeah, really a big fan of this product. I love the innovation with this. It just feels like a beautiful, well thought out product. So really enjoying it. And um, I hope you enjoyed my review as well. I hope you took something from this if you were curious about this product. If you do have the skin tint, let me know. Have you been loving it as much as I have? Because clearly I've been loving it. Because I, I really have. But me and Ritzy are gonna say goodbye. I'm not gonna kiss him because then he's got lipstick all over him and he hates that but I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you liked it enough to hit that subscribe button. That would mean a lot to me, and I will see you all in the next one. Bye.